So, along with the direct drive and the Samsung being down here, I started to use the GE again. This is a GE top load washer from around 2017. It's been in this house ever since new, along with its matching dryer. And lid switches there. It's on precise fill, warm, normal color cycle. Second rinse and no soak. Control panels look a little different now, but kind of like this panel over the new one. There's no symbols. It says deep fill, whatever. I put it on precise fill with about, I don't know, a pretty normal load in it. And this is the water level it chose. I'm impressed. That blue rag, like look, look, the blue rag is just, there, it's gone. I mean, what HE machine turns over clothes that fast? And that white sock was not very white when I put it in there. Yes, I know there's a lot of laundry machine content coming up right now, but that's what I've been working on and what I've had time to do. So, this machine has been sitting for, God, a year without use, or without not much use, and now I just threw a load in it, put it on precise fill, and this is what it did. I'm happy with it. Maybe we'll end up keeping this machine if we ever move. Oh. Yeah, it always did that creak, but I don't worry about it. Now it's doing this. I don't know if it's because it's the end of the cycle or midway. I never know anymore. But... It's done this creaking for a while now, and I just don't care because it it doesn't affect it. And it's pretty quiet anyway. The water's pretty murky too, but it's almost dark in color. So this machine's doing pretty well. There's the model number. GTW 460 ASJ 6 WW. This model's still made, it's just a little different. And the matching dryer is electric. I don't know how the hell that happened. Dryer bowl blew out pretty quick and I replace it and it still blows. See, now it's back to that. Dryer's pretty clean. You can see it's starting to wear in the back. I just cleaned this dryer, took it apart, cleaned it. I should post a full cycle video of this machine at some point because I've only posted an empty cycle video. I mean, nothing beats the direct drive, but that's just a given. That's just how it's always been. But if it's only this machine and the Samsung that are my two only machines, this one's way better. It uses enough water, unlike the Samsung and it actually agitates the clothes pretty aggressively. You don't have to physically beat the clothes with an agitator, at least I'm theorizing. As long as the clothes, the clothes are flexed and rubbed against each other, it'll work. Yet, direct drive just beats the ever-living crap out of the clothes to get them clean, but that machine is 25 years old and the design came out in the 80s and it, they made it for 30 years. It works super well. They only discontinued it because of the EPA and their extremely stringent restrictions, which I completely disagree with, but because this machine's not gonna last 25 years like that one did. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to it. I'm just showing that this machine still functions perfectly and I'm actually pretty impressed with its performance. It's probably going to drain now, so. Yep. 
well, that's it. Hopefully I'll be able to start posting full length videos soon instead of all these tiny snippets, but so much has been going on in my life right now that I just wanted to get out some sort of content. And yeah, till next time.